Anyone that says you need a truck has obviously never owned an RSX because uh, yeah, we have four tires and four wheels packed into this thing. Now I am lucky enough to actually work at a Ford dealership as a technician, which means I'll be able to install these myself and I'll be able to show you guys the entire process of actually mounting and balancing tires. They're uh, Toyota proxies, the R888Rs. These are going on the front. These are the ones for the rear. That's an outside side, so. Dude, this stuff is so watery. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. I'm gonna have to clean off all this after I'm done. This is gonna be the hard part. I'm not gonna lie. If this tire tears, this can be so bad. Oh my God. Ugh. All right, one of them's on there. Hey, at least it should uh, bead pretty easy. Damn. <laughs> uh, uh, we're at 55 PSI. Ready? 64. How much? 64. 64? Just a seat, bro. He's coming. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, it was like 65. 65 PSI to, to make it pop the bead. I'm ready. Go ahead. Oh my God. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. Um, one out of <laughs> four to <laughs> four done. So uh, three more to go. Hey, it, uh, at least it looks good. Hell yeah. Ugh. 76. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Shoot. All right, time to see how much this one's out. Oh my gosh. 0.25 and then two ounces on the front. Now, uh, due to time guys, we already balanced the other three. Uh, we're running out of time here. It's nearing closing time. So we had to get these balanced super quick, but at least you're able to see me balance this last one. Uh, oh yeah, let's go click it over there. Oh dude, I didn't even clean it off. What am I doing? I'm forgetting everything. All right, let's see if these stick. Well, where's the laser? There it is. The laser. You got it. Is that on straight? Yes, it is. I don't Dead think. Center. I see it. I'm gonna trust you. All right, let's test it. Let's see how good I am. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, we're done. This thing sucked. I ain't gonna lie. They sucked, but they look so good. Dude, these are gonna look so good on the car. Fall, I'm gonna go get the RSX, pack these things up, and then uh, head on home, put them on the C8, and... Hell yeah. All right, well, I finally made it back home, guys, and here is the C8 Corvette in the garage. As you can see, it still has on the factory 20-spoke black wheels, but not for long, because we're about to jack this thing up and swap on the new E5 wheels. And before we even do anything with raising the car up and whatnot, we're gonna have to go ahead and just break these lug nuts loose because I'm not going to be using an impact. All manual labor this time, which is so much fun. This is the only bad thing about not having an impact. It's gonna get quite tiring doing this by hand. Old wheel and tire off. All right. Looks like this one will be the one that goes over here. Oh, so good. Oh, bro, I was about to say, do the factory look? No! You have to have a low profile socket. All 
oh, I'm screwed. My bulky 22 will not fit these. So I have to go to the store and get a low profile 22. So I'll do that and be right back. All right, well, I got a thin wall 22 from the auto parts store. And as you can see, it actually clears, which is nice. Uh, just a heads up if y'all are gonna be buying these wheels for your C8 Corvette or anything like that, you just have to use a thin wall because the Impact 22 will not fit. All right, guys, one wheel is on. I still have to put on the other three. Uh, I'm gonna do that off camera just so I can save a little bit of time because I really wanna see what this car is gonna look like. So we're gonna cut to that right now. And here we have it, guys. I finally got the wheels and tires mounted onto this thing. And obviously by the time that I finally got them on the car, it was way too late to get any good videos or pics. So here we are the next day in the sun. And man, guys, these things look freaking awesome. I mean, it completely changes the look of the car. And guys, if you notice, these wheels finally fix the trash stock fitment on the C8, and now the wheels are actually flush with the fenders, and if this one was turned correctly, it would also be flush with the fenders, which is freaking awesome. Now, not only are these wheels a awesome appearance mod, but since we also got our R's in the front and Nitto NT05s in the rear, this car is going to handle and launch from a dig so, so much better than the stock all-season tires that we had on the car. Now, honestly, I think we're gonna have to make a video of testing the launch control on this car now that we actually have a performance tire on it and see if we can get a better zero to 60 time than I've been getting. Uh, it was like around 2.9 to three seconds that I have been getting on the all seasons, but they spin a little bit on launch. So maybe these won't spin and we'll be able to get a good time. All right, guys, so this is that uh, that Camaro owner that I completely gapped in both hey, of my no, cars, no, you know? Back off, back off. No, 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 no. You got gapped by this car at least. So for real, for real though, what do you think about the new wheels? For real, for real, 10 out of 10. Honestly, I think it looks better that it's not black. You can actually tell like all the details in the in the wheel and whatnot. Oh yeah, 100%. That is it for today's video, guys. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about the new wheels on the C8 Corvette. Do you like them or did you like the old stock wheels better? Be sure to let me know. And also hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed because we're gonna be having a ton of videos out very soon, not only on the C8, but also my C5 as it's currently getting cammed. So be on the lookout for that video, guys. Excuse me, sir. Uh, so, so rate my new wheels uh, on a scale of one to ten. What do you think? I like a, a two. A two? These though. Oh, oh, but those. Oh, what do you rate those? A ten. You rate those a ten? Oh, okay, typical Mustang guy. Always wrong. <laughs>